Hello, welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations in Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and tonight I like to do an animal that everyone is familiar with. I want to do a baby cow and I'll show you how to do that from start to finish. I'm going to show you how to um, use a very simple armature. What we're going to do tonight is we're going to add like little toothpicks and put them inside the legs. That enables us to make these legs thinner than if we didn't have the toothpicks in them. And, but I'll show you the types of clay that you can use. There's an oil-based clay such as this, which can be used over and over again and it never hardens. And as I mentioned in the past, I used to use this all the time when I was a kid and I, I loved it because I can make all kinds of animals and when I got tired of them, I made new ones. Another type of clay that you can use is an air hardening clay such as this, which hardens in a couple of hours or overnight. And you can, uh, you can paint it and it's, it's permanent. And that's the good thing about this clay. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be baked in the oven at 275 degrees for 15 or 20 minutes. You can drill it, sand it, you can make a, a tremendous amount of detail with it. And it, it doesn't never hardens until you fire it. So that's a, another advantage. I'll show you the size balls of clay that you can use. There's this size ball clay here we're going to use for the body. And this is going to be used for the head also. And then what we're going to do is I made these four small balls of clay, which are going to be the legs. So we'll use, and we'll wrap the toothpick in them, and I'll show you how to do that. The first thing that we want to do is I'll show you, we want to do the body, the head here and the body, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. So we're going to proceed to take this ball of clay here and squeeze it just like this. Just think of you almost like lengthening it out like a potato, just like that. And then what I'd like to do, now that we're doing that, is pull this out. This is going to be, see this area here? This is going to be the neck. And then what I'd like to do is we're going to start to make the nose and the mouth of the baby calf. See how I'm just kind of sculpting it into this shape? See how that's kind of make, kind of make it thinner there, pinch it that way, and then I'll show you, just keep, keep kind of pulling. Just going to keep working it like that. And See how I've, <clears throat> see how that is? See how I kind of flatten that out? I almost kind of square this off here. And see how that looks? We'll just work a, it a little bit more. Just want to make sure. I'll show you what we're trying to do. See the head here on this one? And see that? See how it's, 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 uh, wider here, then it gets narrower as you go down here. That's what we're trying to do. And then we'll take this, just do that, and we'll work it just like that. And then what I'm going to do too is I kind of want to pu push the clay in a little bit right here. See that? And that's where the eyes are going to go. So we're going to kind of Work it like that, just like that, and, and we'll use the additive technique also tonight. I want to add a little clay here, so we got that. I want to show you, now that we've got the body done here, I want to show you how to do the legs. We're going to have toothpicks. I like the flat toothpicks for this one right now. We want to get, these can be bought like in the supermarket or CVS or one of those places, but they got the nice flat edge. We're going to take the wider edge and we're going to put that down. So basically these will be like the legs. See how I'm doing that? And we're going to wrap the clay around them. And I'll show you how to do that. And we're going to do four of those. So what we do is we take this ball of clay here and we're going to kind of lengthen this out like this. Just like this. And just like, 
just like so. What we're going to do, you see this toothpick now? We're going to place this inside the leg. I want to make sure it's a, a little bit longer than the toothpick. So what we can do is just take this, see how, how I put that in there? And wrap it over like this. And we'll proceed to do that. And that's one of the legs. But we'll, we'll make it a little thinner. I'll proceed to do the other three in, in the same manner. Now, as we finish the fourth one, I'll wrap it like that. And we have our four legs now. I'll show you how we have these. See the four legs? And now what we're going to proceed to do is we're going to attach those to the, the uh, cow's body or baby calf's body. So we're going to take this and I'm going to put this here just like this. And just you kind of just want to work it in like that. Just like that. And we'll proceed to do the other side in the same manner. You take this and you attach it here. See that? And just kind of attach that like that. And then we'll proceed to do the other legs. Push that like that and attach it. And then we'll proceed to do the other side. And we'll attach that on the other side like this. And kind of work it into the body. <clears throat> and then I, I just want to kind of see what this, how this is going to stand. I'm going to work it. So what I'd like to do now is I want to take the sculpting tool as I have done in the past. This, this is the sculpting tool here. It's got the triangular head. I want to show you these, if you buy them in the art store, this is the type of package that they will come in. And there's probably easily maybe eight to ten different tools in here, but this is the one particular tool you want to use tonight. And I'll show you how to do that. We, what we want to do is we want to take, and now that we want to take away some of this clay. See this how I'm kind of getting, taking some of the clay away now? Kind of take this down a little bit. Just like that. We want to make it a lot thinner. So just want to make sure that make it thinner than it was. Proceed to do the same on the other side. Right here, just kind of take and peel this away. See how we're scraping away, just peeling that off. Just going to take that, and we're going to make it a little thinner. Don't worry if the, the toothpick gets a little exposed. We can just wrap the clay around it again. And then we want to take away a little of the clay here. Just like that. And starting to form a nice little shape. See how that, they're starting to look like legs? And then what we're going to proceed to do is in the back, we can take and kind of, we might even, we're going to try to twist it a little bit like this. You'll probably end up breaking the toothpick a little bit, but in, you want to kind of create that, um, I'll show you what we're trying to create. On the back of the cow, see how you almost have like a little, joint or an elbow. See that? That's what we're trying to create. So I will show you, you will take we're going to take away some of this excess clay. If 
That way we can, we'll do it on both sides. Okay, so now I'll show you with this, with, we'll just try to thin it out a little bit and we'll create that little elbow in the back. Just like that, see how you can see how you just want to thin it out, and then you want to make like the hoof down at the bottom, so kind of just go like that. And at the bottom of the hoof, I always like to take and make a little point here. I'll show you what we're We'll do it on the other side. Show you what I'm doing. On the calf, there's like a little, there's like a little area right under here that we're trying to create. You kind of pull it out like that and make kind of make a, like a little point there. It's a little better pronounced on this side. See how it kind of goes up a little bit here? and uh, we'll kind of build up the shoulder muscles here also. So I'll get a piece of clay here, and I'll show you how to kind of build up the shoulder muscles. Take a piece of clay, just kind of build up this area here. Just take add clay, just kind of, see I'm just adding it there. Just like that. Add a little bit more clay. And I'll show you what we're trying to do. See on this, this cow right here, or the calf? See this area right here? We're trying to add clay to build it up like that. And then you kind of want to make that little, like, little elbow there, and then come down. And uh, you, want, you want to make the leg into this shape here. That's what we're trying to do. And see how these, we're trying to make the, the hoofs. And you can see like on the other leg here, and uh, we'll proceed to continue making the legs in that manner. I'll show you. And then we'll try to build up on this side in the same manner. And I'll show you so we can try to square it off a little bit. Just like that. And now we're going to build up the front shoulder muscles. See, I'm just adding clay there. Just like that. Just add the clay. And we'll proceed to do it on the other side. What I'm just trying to show you tonight is how you can make a, like a, an armature to kind of make the legs a little thinner, a little more realistic looking. And in the future, I'll show you how to actually use aluminum wire, which is what I used in a lot of my sculptures. It's because it's flexible and so you kind of build up the shoulder muscles like that. And then 
There's another area we want to build up. You kind of want to take and build this up a little bit in the back here. There's almost like a little point that's under there. So I'll try to get that a little better so you can see it. And we want to do that on both sides. So I'm just going to show you more of the rough form tonight for that. And then, and then we probably want to make a tail. So I'll take another ball of clay, such as this size here. And you can just take this, and if you want, I'm just going to roll it on the table here to make the, the tail. We'll take the end of the tail. You almost kind of want to make it a little pointed. So what I'll do is I'm going to take a toothpick, just kind of rough it up a little bit right here, just like that. And then we'll proceed to place that on the back of the cow right here, or the little calf. And then for the head, I think we'll build this up a little bit more. Just want to build that up a little bit. Add a little bit of clay to the top of the head, just like that, and work it. just like that. And I think we'll proceed. I want to show you how to make the mouth. We'll do that next. On this here, on this one, see how we made the, the nose, the two nostrils? We're going to use the toothpick for that. And then we're going to make this mouth area right here. It's underneath. So I'm just kind of using that toothpick, putting that in there to kind of put a little bit of space. Make the mouth area. I just want to check it against my other model here. Um, so I'll show you, just kind of work this a little bit. You might kind of make a little indentation on the upper part of the, or the roof of the mouth. See that? So we made the nose. And now what we want to do is we'll, we'll probably make the eyes next. So I'm going to take and I'm going to try to flatten this out a little bit. So we're going to take the tool and we're going to kind of like scoop the eyes out a little bit like this. We've done this in the past with other sculptures. And then what we can do is we can try to work this back into the, take this piece of clay and you can kind of like, whoop, I dropped it, but we can work it back into the, the eye again, like that. We'll take, I'll try to outline it a little bit more with this. And then we can take and maybe, I want to take a little piece of clay here and kind of make a little more of a brow on the, for the eye. See that how we took that little piece of clay? We kind of put that up there. And we're going to do the same for the other side. We're going to take and scoop out the eye right about there. Take that, and then we can kind of work that back in, place that clay back in there to the eye. And we're going to create that little brow. I'm going to take another little piece of clay off here. And I'm going to take, you kind of 
You have that little eyebrow, like a little brow over the eye. And I would take and make an outline around the eye, like this. So you can see the, the face starting to form. See that, how we got the nice little eye? Got the nose and the mouth area. And then we'll proceed to make the ears. I'm gonna take a couple of pieces of clay here. I'm gonna make the ears. The ears will take this shape here. And we're gonna place those on the side of the head. Take that. And I'll show you the shape that we want. See, we take this ball of clay and flatten it out like this. That's the shape that we want. And then what I'll do is I'll take my sculpting tool and scoop out the ear a little bit like this. See that, how he scooped it out? And then we'll proceed to place this on the side of the cow's head or the calf's head. See this, how I'm placing this right there? Just kind of place that like that. And we'll do the other side. <coughs> Make that nice and flat like we're doing now. I'm going to scoop this out like we did for the other ear. And we'll put this right here. And just kind of go around and work it in. Move that back a little bit. But you can kind of get the idea now how to make the cow. And I'll show you what it will look like when it's completed. You can play around, put a little more clay on the shoulder area. I'll show you with the, the one that we had, that I had completed last night. This is what it looks, should look like when it's done. See how I kind of built up the shoulder area here? And did that. You build up the shoulder area here. You got the nice hoofs. Nice tail, and you can kind of see the shape of the shoulder muscles. There, ears, the eyes, and then the, the mouth. I'm going to proceed to uh, show you how to paint that now. And we can put that aside. You know, your tool, like on the, the one I just did, I should take more clay off here. So what you want to do is eventually pare it down to look like this one here. And then what you want to do is you just kind of squeeze it when it gets smaller and just go round and round like that and you'll get that shape. But I'll show you how to paint this now. Here are the acrylic paints which can be bought in any art store. Uh, they're about 18 in the package. And uh, you know they're all your basic colors that you need and we will proceed to use these on the baby calf. And I'll show you, we'll take these out. We want black. We want for the eyes and some of the, the black splotches on the skin. Brown for the hoofs. White for the body. Pink for the mouth. And then the other color that we want, it almost looks like a fleshy color. We want that for the nose color. But I want to show you the brushes. <laughs> the most important thing you need brushes. Some of these finer brushes, like this, we can use for the eyes, maybe like the ears. See how those are got a finer tip? And the ones with the, that are a little bit wider, such as these, we can use for the body. 
and making some of the black spots. The first thing that I want to do is I want to do the brown. So see this? Just kind of go do a back and forth motion on the, the hoof there. And you go all the way around. See how I did that? Then we're going to proceed to do the others. Paint that. Go around. Then we'll go to the other side. We'll paint that. Then we'll do the other the other one. Just like that. And you can paint the fourth one in the same manner. The next thing that we'll paint is I think we'll do the uh, the pink ears, the pink. So the pink, what we want to do is we want to do the inside of the ears here, right here. Just kind of paint the pink there, and then we'll do the other side, just like that. And then we'll also paint the pink for the mouth. I want to get that ear pink, like that. We'll do the pink. And then the next thing I'd like to do is the, we'll try to do the eyes. And we'll do that with black. Paint that ever so slightly. Just the black here, we'll just dab that. Just dab it ever so slightly. We'll do the same on the other side. And if you get a little bit on the, the rest of the head, you can always paint over it. The next thing I want to show you how to do is the, uh, I think we'll do the, the, white, the white body next. What we can do is, so I would start with the underside, and just paint like that. And paint like the, the front of the head white. Get the sides here. You want to do the legs, paint those white, go back and forth, back and forth, like that. With the white, you might have to give a couple of coats because it, when it dries, it'll, 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 you'll still be able to see the clay. So I would, I would just give it a second coat. I'm going to paint all the white areas here like that. Back and forth, back and forth. That back and forth. And we'll do the other leg in the same manner. Just like that. And what I would do is I'd paint the entire cow basically white up to the top. Back and forth, back and forth. Paint the, the tail white, just like that, back and forth. I'll show you the, you're going to paint the entire, entire calf the white color, but then you're also going to want to put the black on top of it. So I'll kind of show you how to do that. We want to take the black and kind of paint like the ears, so I paint the back of the ears black. Like that. You can see that. And then I would paint the top part of the head kind of like this, the black color. And I'll show you. We'll do the other ear black. 
And then what we can do too is if we want to create, you can take and dab the cow with the black like that to create some spots. Kind of dab them. Just like that. You know, you can put them where you want. Like that. And I would do that on both sides in that manner. And the, the one last thing that I want to do is I want to paint the nose. And then what we do is we'll take this and we're going to paint the nose now, right here, with that flesh-like color. Just kind of dab inside the nostrils. So when you finally finish painting your baby calf, I'll show you what it should look like. See the, the pink for the mouth? How we just painted the nose with the nostrils? See how I, I dab the black spots on them? On mine, I just kind of did some black, black ears. And I just, after painting them all white, I just kind of dabbed them in different places with the black spots. And then, uh, you know, did the brown for the hoofs. And then I did, for the tail, I did add a little extra brown too, just to kind of make it look a little better. But this is what uh, your baby calf should look like. And I was trying to demonstrate tonight how you can use these, a pr very primitive armature with the toothpicks. Uh, the wire is actually better, but uh, I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of how you build up the muscle structure and things on the, the baby calf. So I can give you more details on this later, but I'll show you how to go about that and how you can compare the muscles and the, the, the different bones and where they point out. And it's, it's pretty interesting. When you know the anatomy of an animal, you can make any kind of animal. But I do want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay tonight, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you.